Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from CSIR net and this is a very nice problem and this is question number uh, question ID 4 to 9 and uh, this is from the mechanics and this is a straightforward question and uh, just coming from your uh, booklet or your copy. What is this one? So there is a sphere of radius r. So this sphere has radius r and there is a particle on the upper part of a sphere and what you are doing? You are just giving a gentle push. So when it is leaving the surface, so suppose at this particular angle, it is just leaving the surface, let us say this angle is theta c. Then when it is leaving the surface, then what will be the velocity? So from you, we have to go for conservation of energy. So initially we have all energy that is potential energy. So we have mg 2r is equal to, here we have potential energy plus kinetic energy. So that value is equal to mg r plus r cos theta and this is your cos theta c and plus we can have kinetic energy half mv square and uh, we can easily find we can prove and this thing we have to know that at the angle theta c the cos theta c value is equal to 2 by 3 how you can prove it so you can just write the equation of motion so what is equation of motion into the radial direction so we have normal into this direction and we have basically in this particular direction uh, this is normal and this is my weight mg and this particular direction mg cos theta. So we have n minus mg cos theta is equal to m into r double dot minus r theta dot square here r is equal to capital R. So what we have n minus mg cos theta c is equal to we can put minus m r theta dot square and at this point what we have this normal is going to be 0 and from there we can find m r theta dot square is equal to m g cos theta c. And what we can do? This mv square is nothing. So when you will go for this, then you have mg 2r is equal to mg r plus mg r cos theta c plus half m r square theta dot square. So from here, we can put the value of theta dot here and we can find the value of theta c. So once we will put it there, then theta c is equal to 2 by 3. So here we can get theta c is 2 by 3. So using this one and now we can use this particular thing and we can easily find what will be the velocity. So what is our velocity? So we can, so, th so theta c is equal to 2 by, so cos theta c, this is not theta c. So we have basically cos theta c, so we have cos theta c is equal to 2 by 3. So we can prove it by your calculation. Now what we will do? We will just put, we have to find the velocity. So from here we can easily find this value as, so if you are putting here value of cos theta c is equal to 2 by 3. So what do you have? MGR minus MGR cos theta c is equal to half mv square and cos theta c we will put 2 by 3. So we have r minus 2 by 3 is equal to v square into g. So what will be v? So v is equal to root under we have basically this value is equal to so we have g r by 3 and we can just do for 2 also. So this is 2g r by 3. So we can get this particular value. So this answer is 2 by 3 g r. So you can easily solve from here. So what do you have to do? And we can use this result also. We can use this result 
directly and if you are you if you remember this result then you can just put it here and you can get the answer so this is a straightforward question there is not any uh, more uh, uh, difficulties but if you know this result then obviously you have to find at which angle it is going to fall and after then you have to put it into this equation and you will get the answer and this value is 2 by 3 gr so i hence it is just a deri part of derivation so we should remember this particular value and then it's a just a cakewalk for you.